Story 1, The Game. I was searching around the games tab in Roblox, I saw nothing too interesting, until I decided to type random things in the search tab and see what will come up. The first thing I searched was the game, and only one game appeared. I expected more but I clicked on the only option. When I joined the game it had free models everywhere, and it was really a trash game, but the unexpected happens, the creator joined the game. He walked around the place looking like there was nothing else to do, then he said this. Oh. I didn't expect a player to be in my game. I was really confused, I didn't know this was a joke, to make fun of those really bad myth games. Or he is actually being serious. Everyone gather around the player. He was just sitting there looking stupid, I said, ha, are you going to do something? I was just really broad and left the game, I got a message, for the creator. I read it and it was really weird, with the many incorrect spelling of words and really poor grammar, I just stopped reading in the middle of the message, because I couldn't just handle the poor grammar. Until I realized, I had my message set to a friend only. Story 2, Breakout. There used to be this pretty popular war group called the Undefined Army, or whatever that means, I used to be part of this group and it was really fun. Until they made this game called The Breakout, I joined, because I thought it would be an interesting roleplay game, boy, was I wrong. First of all, it was clearly a ripoff of SCP, with all the monsters and the entities, but I didn't really think much about it, because people copy already popular games all the time. Moving on to what was going in the game, there was a group of people getting ready to be tested on, kinda like the Class D in SCP. Until a random loud and annoying alarm went off, Subject 834 and other people have escaped, report to the main decks. I was really confused now, what the heck is the main deck? Anyways the guards were saying to stay back and not to move, I looked over and saw another person that looked pale, I heard coughing sound effects. He was clearly sick, the guard proceeded to take him into another room, never to be seen again, Subject 984 has been infected with Virus 983. What I think was going on was that this war group was testing diseases, so they can affect enemies with those viruses, and get them sick and they would die. A weird battle plan but alright, you. Come over here. A random guard said, they took me into a room and proceeded to ask questions about my health. They went out to get something and they brought a cart of tubes full of viruses. I was too freaked out to continue, so I just left the game, and then decided to leave the war group. As far as I know, their group got closed for good because of that game. So that's why I don't join war groups anymore. Story 3, The Enlisted. There is a secret group in Roblox called The Enlisted. These users committed crimes that Roblox had to enlist them from the site. When the exploiting community heard about this rumor, they went crazy trying to find some truth to this, but they ended up finding one account. They couldn't access their games which is obvious, but one of the hackers in the group got weird messages from the user. Everyone in the group was weirded out and thought he was just playing a trick on them, until they started to get the weird messages too, but from a different account. That account was enlisted, but if you're wondering what were the messages well most of them just said, we didn't do anything. Or help us. The group of hackers ended up abandoning the hunt for enlisted accounts after that, Roblox was notified about the hackers and they are now IP banned. For accessing a company secret, but one of their accounts seemed to be gone forever, it's like they got enlisted from the website. Story 4, Easy Obgy, Easy Obgy, Easy Obgy. I was on Roblox looking for a game to play, there was this one game that was named Easy Obgy, Easy Obgy, Easy Obgy. I thought it was a random botted game, but I went to play another game, then out of nowhere, I got teleported to a random game. I thought it was some hackers thinking they were funny, but no, it sends me to the Easy Obgy game. Also, it wasn't even an Obgy, but it was a sword fighting game, there were other players too, confused, why they got teleported to this game. When you killed a player, it would send you to another game, called Welcome to Death. I was really freaking confused. I didn't know, if it was a salty game creator or a hacker, well I quit the game and went to another game. Then it sends me back to the easy Obgy game. I was mad at this point, I just wanted to play my game. 
So as other players, it turns out Roblox was testing how to remove teleportation hacks, I'm just really confused at this point. I decided to take a break from Roblox, because it was getting too weird for me, then I got some news that someone got a random admin password. Kinda what they did in the 2012 hacking, but I'm so glad that it was just some teleportation hack instead of something worse. Story 5, Happy. There was an old Roblox game called Happy, when you join the game you will see decals on the wall of people creepily smiling. In some areas, you can see the words that said, sad people must die. The sad people looked scared more than sad, no one knew what the game intentions were. Some people overreacted and thought that this was a hacking group, but they were very wrong. Happy was much bigger than we thought, because Happy was a test account made by Roblox staff. So, when players joined the game, they wouldn't feel alone, kinda like John Doe and Jane Doe. Then happiness fell into obscurity, never to be remembered until a Roblox admin logged into Happy, made the game happy. Roblox found out that he made the game and fired him, but what people didn't know was that there were two Happy accounts named Happy. So no one knows which one is the real Happy, and which one made the original game. At the end Happy is defiantly not a test account anymore, it's a virus on Roblox ready to take over.